My name is Edmond Yakani, Executive Director of SEPO. I would like to take this opportunity to strongly appreciate the Council of Ministers for reaching consensus, for urging His Excellency President to declare the flood that has affected over six states in our country to be declared as a national disaster. This is a positive response to our advocacy and our lobby that we have done with the humanitarian partners, urging the leadership of the country to declare floods as a national disaster. Thank you very much. We appreciate your consensus and your decision that you have made for the best interest of our own communities that are facing the shocks of the floods as per the day of today and days to come in the future. Further, we would like to urge His Excellency President to ensure that also want to see adequate financing of responses to the floods and preparedness of the floods because these floods are really affecting the lives of our people, their livelihood, their livestock, and is reducing life to be at risk at all aspects of life. Health, education, whatever that we see, even security, violence may emerge, things like gender-based violence may emerge as an implication of the floods that are affecting our community due to competition over either highland or due to uh, limited services that are provided to the communities affected with the floods. But also like to urge the government and all other actors that may respond to the floods, they, must, they should respond in an inclusive manner. I refer to the needs of persons with disability in the face of the floods, whether at the level of preparedness or in the level of response, should be taken meaningfully. And other vulnerable groups like elderly, sick people, lactating mothers, and people who are either wounded, we must take care of persons with disabilities and other vulnerable sector of our society during our flood response. And that's why as a SEPO, we are calling for an inclusive flood preparedness and responses. Thank you very much.